All right, so we are back on it. Uh, we're gonna go to the same spot that we went to the other weekend where we caught a conga and a dogfish. And this time, Jacob, we got a special guest, Jacob, stepson. We're gonna have ourselves a little conga comp, aren't we, buddy? Yeah. So we're gonna try and, uh, we've got three rods, so we're gonna stick one big bait out with a pulley panel uh, with a big lump of mackerel, a uh, super bonus, found a wrap of black lug at the bottom of the freezer, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and then we've got two, a rod at each then, on top of that, with a, uh, a two hook clip down, uh, two hook flapper clip down, whatever you want to call it, two clip down hooker flapper. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get on that and uh, see what we can bag. Jacob with his rod. <laughs> it's nearly as tall as him and it's in half. It's only a 10 foot rod. It's absolutely stunning out here today. Water's like glass. It's low tide ish. I think we're going to get on it just before low tide, I think, actually. Somebody over there digging for some worm. This is where I dug some worm the first time. You can really see Warden Ledge now with the tide out, which is like Bass City, uh, good for lure fishing. Um, yeah, we're going to get on that in the next couple of weeks, I think, aren't we, bud? But yeah, absolutely stunning evening. Uh, yeah, so we're going to, it's about uh, five o'clock now. Hopefully, get some bait in the water at about, uh, what, half an hour? And then, uh, yeah, sit and wait and watch the sun go down. Yeah, that is clear. Super clear. Probably a good time to place fish. Seems I keep banging on about it, but I've got absolutely no idea what the right time of day, what the right tide, what the, where. Got a slight issue. I think I said after my... Let's turn you around. Uh, yeah. In the last video, my tripod fell over with my phone on it. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. It's not broken, it's not cracked, no damage. Uh, but yeah, it turns out it is cracked. Um, I think, uh, yeah, probably scoot down. Yeah, if you go over there, look, you can step down there. Uh, yeah, but it is cracked. So every time I put this, the uh, the phone towards the light, uh, it looks a bit, bit bad, it goes a bit blurry and a bit funky. But um, yeah, so we'll, I'll try and hopefully uh, stay out of that anyway. Yeah, so a bit of sand, which will be nice. And our fishing spot for the evening is right here. Wow. So it's nice and open. We can set the tripod up today, which we couldn't set up the other day. We're going to fish over that. Just actually wondering if this is such a wise place because we're not going to be able to get a fish up are we that's probably the best bet there isn't it yeah yeah on that um, yeah. right so found our destination see if you can see it you've got a little gap there in the uh, old wall so if we do break because otherwise we've got like an eight foot ledge to try and bring something up over which we're not going to be able to do uh yeah so we're going to set ourselves up here Got a nice flat area, we can wedge the rods up somewhere. Uh, we won't be able to set the tripod up again, but that's no biggie. Um, it's absolutely still, still calm. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna get set up. And then uh, we'll show you our setup, show you the rigs, show you the bait, and uh, ping some baits out there, and bag of fish for our conga comp. Hey bud. Yeah. Conga fishing.
Jake. Come here then, Jake. Yeah, so, so what we got here then, buddy? Um, you got your ten foot, got ten foot old. beach caster. Yeah, which is mine. Yeah. We have the uh, one we're sharing. Had to add in a Yeah. Oh, we've got Dylan's dog. Yeah, that's the one. So the one, the big one that we got on the end, that's got a pulley panel. You can see that it's got quite a long trace on that one. Um, so we're gonna put a massive chunk of mackerel on there, in hope of catching a big conger, which. Anything that goes on that rod, Jake's going to bring in because he's busting his guts to catch a big conger. Then the other rod there goes down to a two hook clipped down flapper rig uh, with some glowy beads and bits and bobs on it. And then on this one, on Jake's rod, he's got a 10 foot rod because it's easier for him to cast. He's got a four and a half ounce grip of lead on the bottom of it. You can see there there's no tide so it should be fine and he's got exactly the same rig and I think we've got size one O's um, should probably maybe use something smaller just to make sure we catch something but uh, I think it'd be fine so uh, yeah we're getting baited up and then we'll bring you back all right so what we've got here this is Jake so he's got his, uh, his 130 which I think is about four and a half ounces uh, so we've got a bit of black lug and a bit of a uh, little bit of tipped off a bit of mackerel, it's clipped down, all ready to rock and roll, same on the top. This one's mine, got exactly the same going on, same baits, everything. And then if you come over to here, we got a monster bit of juicy mackerel, which is going to be Jake's bait, if anything bites it. So let's ping these out and uh, see what we get. Master fisherman. Right, so we've got them all, got all three out now. Jake's first cast. When was the last time you had a cast of a rod, Jake? Last, last year on Yarmouth Pier, probably. Last year on Yarmouth Pier, probably about four or five months ago, and he nailed it, so that was good. Uh, so we've got all three out now. Uh, yeah, all, all, no problems, no snags, no snappages, no breakages, no dramas. So now it's a case of uh, temperatures dropping, so we'll get wrapped up and uh, sit and wait basically and keep our eyes staring at these rods for the next two hours uh, so hopefully fingers crossed we'll have some fish to show you Look at this, doesn't get much better than this. Food delivery service at its best. Isla, the new YouTube star. Wave the camera. Hi, I'm Wendy. And Daisy. <laughs> what we got? Chips. Chips and sausage rolls. Mank. Hopefully we haven't got mank chips.
So they've been in, how long do you reckon? 20 minutes, half an hour? Yeah. Uh, Jake's had a little nibble on his, but uh, yeah, it's been pretty quiet. So we're gonna give him a quick bait change now and uh, see if we've actually got any bait on him. Because uh, I imagine they're probably all empty apart from maybe the squid, uh, the mackerel. So we'll bring him in there. Biggest bait I've probably ever used, to be honest. Yeah. Right, so we just saw we had a bite there on the big bait. Got it properly snagged, and uh, which I have been warned about here. It's very snaggy. We've got the weight back, which makes me very happy. Uh, so we're going to have to retie. Well, we're not going to retie. I'm going to just switch over to another panel rig that we've already made. Um, light went down about half an hour ago, and it's now starting to get much darker. So I'm thinking we should start getting into some bites because we haven't had one yet. We've had a couple of knots, but no solid bites. So with any luck, next half an hour. I think we're going to cast a bit closer in as well because the tide's starting to really run and uh, we're not holding the bottom even with five, six ounce lead. So I think, get this one sorted out, chuck it out, we'll get some others back in and back out and then uh, and hopefully we'll be able to bring you back to a fish. Record action, see if we hopefully get a live, live action bite. All right, so uh, yeah, we're struggling a little bit tonight. Um, lost a couple of rigs. Well, actually, I haven't lost the rigs. Um, pulled the hooks uh, on snags, kept the weight, which is quite good. So that's something. Um, but then I had a mega crack off, which I think you probably heard. Uh, and like, that's my own fault. I forgot. I was so eager and keen and showing off in front of Jake that I forgot to take the belly arm off and uh, wanged it out there and sounded like a banger going off so uh, we've sorted that out we've put them on again uh, we've had a little rearrange putting things in different places now um, yeah tides really 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 on the flood now and uh, it's really difficult like on the pull of the tide to keep keep the weights in um, stop them from moving around so yeah at the moment uh, no fish one crab. crab to me so actually i'm winning then really if you yeah. want to put it like that uh yeah and looks oh could have a bite on a big rod that looked like it was a big tub yeah it's quite there's, a, there's quite a bit of weed in the water as well tonight um but yeah so uh we're gonna keep at it anyway and we'll bring you back we can't stay too late because jake's got school tomorrow so um but yeah, we're going to keep at it anyway uh, and hope uh, that we can pull out a fish and give you a little show. But yeah, we'll keep, we'll keep going anyway. Don't let, just keep reading. Don't let, just 
18 million 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 that never stops. Did any wait? It was! Did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? Come on. Did you see it? Yeah. Dog fish. What was it? Dog fish. I knew you saw it was going for it, mate. You brought it all the way in there. Did you see it in the water? Yeah, yeah dog fish, mate. It could have been in there. It looked like it, looked like it was a bit light in colour. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. All right, so I don't know, um, we didn't manage to catch it on this camera, but Jake tried to get it on his phone, so I hope we got some footage. He just brought it in, and it went all light, and it got a bit snaggy, so I took over, and it was super, super light, but as soon as we got it in here, we saw a dogfish swim off, and it came off the line, and uh, and it hung around for, what, what would you say, Jake, five minutes? Five, ten minutes, yeah. Yeah, just swimming around here, flapping about, got in a little tidal pool there, very cool to see but uh, yeah so we've just pinged it straight back out try to get it in the same place big lump of mackerel on there again uh, that was on the pulley so hopefully we can try and bag Jacob fish um, before the night's out there's a dog fish that little doggy Jake just had on his line and he came off right at the last second and he's got himself in there and uh, he'll get out in a minute because obviously the tide is coming in but um, yeah super cool man right uh, we have now resigned one rod because we got it snagged and we snapped it off uh, so we are now we're gonna do it's eight o'clock on the nose so we're gonna do one cast each now uh, we, we haven't had any fish, um, but yeah, we're going to have one more cast, give them 20 minutes just to see, and then we're going to pack up and head back. So if you catch a fish, we'll bring you back. Uh, if we don't catch a fish, we'll still bring you back just to sign off, say goodbye and whatnot. But yeah, we're going to break these up and get them straight back out. Packed up. Jake's there. He's got his head torch on me. Where are you, Jake? Hi. I just saw your face then, very briefly. There it is. So we, uh, yeah, we didn't have tremendous, uh, tremendous amount of luck. <laughs> we had a crab. I lost two weights. I broke three rigs. Jake nearly caught a dogfish. Uh, literally, we watched it swim away, which is nice and he had a stonking bite near the end as well so hopefully we got that on camera uh yeah so we blanked so we're, we're both a little bit uh feeling a little bit hard done by but hey that's fishing but uh so hopefully next time uh we'll have a couple 
to show you. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, uh, tight lines, everyone. Everyone stay safe as you can. And uh, yeah, start getting out there, man. Catch some fish. Uh, and anyone who's recording it, uh, yeah, keep doing it, man, because it's nice to see other people catching fish because it keeps me, uh, keeps me motivated to get out there as well. So until then, stay safe. Tight lines. la -di da Have fun. See you again. Bye-bye. Say bye, Jake.